There are a variety of appetizing meals that may be consumed by vegetarians without leading to an excessive intake of carbohydrates. But what about vitamin B12? Because meat and other animal products are the primary source of vitamin B12, it might be challenging for vegetarians to get the required amount of this vitamin through their diet. Because vegetarians may still consume dairy products, they are able to integrate these kinds of foods into their diet. On the other hand, vegans really need to hunt for meals that have B12 added to them, such as high-protein cereals, protein powders, and plain old-fashioned supplements. Vitamin B12 is a kind of vitamin that is soluble in water and is also known as cobalamin. It is necessary for the creation of red blood cells as well as the proper functioning of the brain and neurological system since it is an essential vitamin. Bacteria and archaea are essential for the manufacture of vitamin B12. There is no known animal, human, or fungi species that is capable of producing it on their own. Anemia and other problems with the neurological system may develop in people who do not get enough of the vitamin B12 that their bodies need. Fortified foods, plant milk, dietary supplements, and vitamin injections are some examples of reliable vegan sources of vitamin B12. What is the maximum daily dose of vitamin B12 that should be taken? The National Institute of Health recommends that people aged 14 and older get 2.4 micrograms of B12 per day, 2.6 micrograms of B12 for adult and adolescent pregnant females, and 2.8 micrograms of B12 for adult and adolescent lactating females. These recommendations can be found on the National Institute of Health website. In this video, we are going to show you the best foods for vegetarians who want to up their B12 levels. Soy milk. For vegans and vegetarians who don't consume milk but want an alternative to dairy products, soy milk is an excellent choice. It has the highest concentration of vitamins and minerals, including calcium and protein, compared to other alternatives to milk. It is essential that you search for a brand that has little to no sugar and that you want to watch the amount of soy products that you consume on a regular basis to prevent a hormonal imbalance from occurring. Even though rice milk, almond milk, and soy milk do not naturally contain a lot of vitamin B12, these milks are often fortified with vitamin B12, which makes them a good source of this vitamin. One cup of soy milk, for instance, has the potential to supply up to 86% of the daily value of vitamin B12. Therefore, fortified non-dairy milks are an excellent choice for those who want to boost the amount of B12 in their diet in order to prevent a B12 deficiency. Because it is a synthetic form, the B12 found in non-dairy milk is suitable for vegans, much like the B12 found in other fortified sources. Cheese Cheese is a blessing for vegetarians. If you ask most vegetarians why they're not vegan, it's mainly because they love cheese too much. At least their indulgence also provides them with vital B12. An analysis of a one ounce portion of 12 varieties of cheese reveals that Swiss cheese had the highest B12 content with 0.95 micrograms or 39% of the recommended dietary amount. Cheddar and Monterey cheeses provide the least amount of calcium. 0.24 micrograms, but still offer 10% of the daily requirement. Other cheeses, such as blue cheese, American, Brie, Colby, Feta, Gouda, Gruyere, Munster, and Provolone, have between 17 and 20% of the daily value per ounce. One cup of cottage cheese provides 37% of the daily value. If you consumed a one ounce portion of grated Parmesan cheese, you would get 27% of the daily value which is around six times more than the normal one tablespoon portion, which has 5%. Add some feta to your salad, a piece of cheese to your avocado toast, and indulge in a cheese platter during happy hour. It is guilt-free since it provides the B12 you need. Tofu. Tofu is one of the most popular protein choices for vegetarians and vegans since it is so adaptable and can be tasty if prepared properly. Many people consider raw tofu to be unappetizing, which is accurate. Tofu is often fortified with key vitamins, making it a nutritious food choice and an excellent method to enhance your diet with a variety of healthy nutrients. One cup of enriched tofu provides about 50% of the daily requirement for vitamin B12. Additionally, enriched tofu is an excellent source of protein, calcium, and vitamin D. 
Try marinating it with your preferred sauces and then frying it in the marinade. Soy sauce and spicy sauce, together with garlic or ginger, salt and pepper, are a common combination. It is the ideal accent to any vegetable meal if it is cooked till crispy. Eggs Whether you want to cook your eggs by boiling, poaching, scrambling, or frying them, your body will appreciate the opportunity to absorb the many vitamins and minerals that are included inside the egg's white and yolk. Eggs are a rich source of a variety of nutrients that are essential for the body so that it may perform its functions correctly. Eggs have a vitamin B12 content that is naturally rather high. In comparison to milk and meat, it is the source of vitamin B12 that has the greatest quantity of the nutrient per unit of weight. Each egg has 0.89 micrograms of vitamin B12, making the vitamin B12 content of 100 grams of chicken eggs equal to 18% of the daily value. Approximately 72 calories may be found in one big egg. Protein Shakes Protein powders aren't everyone's cup of tea, but if you're a vegetarian or vegan, they're an essential part of keeping track of how much protein and vitamins you're getting in your diet. If you don't consume meat, getting enough B12 might be challenging. In these cases, protein shakes may provide the ideal amount of the vitamin to bring your consumption up to the recommended level. You may use protein powders in a variety of inventive ways, such as making protein pancakes or tasty treats like cookies and brownies. Nutritional Yeast In the vegan kitchen, nutritional yeast is a versatile ingredient that may be used to create vegan cheese substitutes or sprinkled on top of salads. One important point to make, though, is enriched yeast is a very rich source of vitamin B12. You should still try to get your B12 from a variety of other places rather than depending just on this one. Because vitamin B12 is susceptible to light, the micronutrient may deteriorate if it is stored in see-through plastic containers like those sold at Whole Foods. As a result, the nutritional yeast real levels may be lower than they would normally be. Tempa because fermented foods may improve both gastrointestinal health and the composition of the microbiome in the gut, their consumption is enjoying a meteoric rise in popularity. In addition to this, it is possible that they are a source of vegan B12, especially tempa, which is a fermented soybean product. Fermentation of soybeans result in the production of vitamin B12, which is an interesting fact given that soybeans themselves do not contain any B12. There are some indications that the bacterium known as lactobacillus, which is typically found in fermented foods, may create some vitamin B12. However, there is not yet sufficient concrete data to imply that this is a trustworthy source. This is also the case with kimchi, which is a fermented cabbage dish that originates in Korea. According to the findings of one study, there are between 0.18 and 0.24 micrograms of B12 per 100 grams. However, this may not be exact for all commercially available products. Mushrooms There is some evidence to show that some varieties of mushrooms may have B12. The cremini mushroom is one such example of a mushroom. Nonetheless, professionals caution that mushrooms should not be depended upon as a major source. Mushrooms, particularly cremini mushrooms, do not constantly test positive for vitamin B12 content. It is common practice to look for vitamin B12 in the mushroom's topmost layers, which leads one to hypothesize that bacteria are living on the surface of the mushrooms rather than the mushrooms themselves were the source of the vitamin. Nori Seaweed Iodine is another essential element that vegans and vegetarians occasionally need to be aware of, and nori is an excellent source of this mineral. When it comes to obtaining vitamin B12, there is evidence to show that raw nori may be a potential source. It is interesting to note that the amounts of B12 in nori seem to decrease when it is cooked or dried. Similar to spirulina, we begin to see high levels of pseudo-vitamin B12, which may in fact have a detrimental effect on B12 levels. Marmite This is a thick paste that is created from the yeast byproduct that is left over after the brewing of beer. A single serving of marmite which is around 8 grams, provides approximately 76% of the vitamin B12 that is needed for daily consumption. Marmite may be used as a spread on toast, in sandwiches, and even as an ingredient in sauces and curries by those who like the flavor of the product. 
Vitamin B12 is your go-to superhero for ensuring a healthy metabolic state, optimum nerve tissue health and neurological function, proper brain function, the creation of red blood cells, and the synthesis of DNA, among other things. Vitamin B12 is essential in ensuring all of these things perform at their peak. Our superhero vitamin B12 may be found among all of these fantastic vegetarian alternatives with relative ease. Vegetarians certainly do not have access to foods that supply an adequate amount of vitamin B12. It is important to keep in mind that too much of anything may be harmful, and the same principle applies here as it does everywhere. Consume the appropriate amount and check that your meals meet the needs for all of the other nutrients in a manner that is nutritionally sound. Watch these videos if you liked this one. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.